Hi right, guys, Chris Finlay here. Um, following on from John's video about the world, there's been uh, there's been a few changes since John last showed it, which is uh, it's nice. It's come along quite a long way, and I'm just going to take you through some of the things that uh, have changed since then. First thing you'll probably notice is I'm not using quite as fancy a skin as John was. Oh, snowman's melted. Uh, I'm not using quite the fancy skin that John was using, but I am just using the default one. The mob spawners, all much the same as when John showed you it. There's no real reason to go back over that. But there it is, in the daytime, in the normal skin, looking like some sort of... I don't even know what you'd call that sort of structure. <laughs> anyway, first thing you'll probably notice is this. Jag this is actually... he's done a lot of work on this since I last logged onto the server. <laughs> Um, we both got a little fed up with the glitching of animals through the farm fences and decided we'd create solid walls. John decided snow would be a good thing to make it out of. So we got snow, glowstone, wool and a little bit of cobblestone. Obviously the farm is yet to be populated and we had to kill most of the animals so they didn't roam freely and uh, just we saved a couple of each species and we stuck them in a shed. No works, unfortunately. And, hmm. It's going to be interesting when it's completed. I assume a different level for each animal. Though how he's going to keep them separate. I can see some chickens falling through here. Right. Also, the crop farm is... Well, I think it's actually pretty much completed. So, let's have a, uh, let's have a wee look in here. All the switches are now in place. I'm not going to show you how it works, but I will take a run through it. Um, because the last time we harvested the wheat, we nearly killed the server. We were down to one frame per second for a good five or ten minutes. Anyway, you get on the minecart and you come through here. There's storage compartments. The dispensers don't really do anything other than... They don't do anything special other than just spit stuff at you. As John mentioned, this is wheat. It has to be replanted every single time. It takes a while. Uh, here we have melons and pumpkins. And down here, bamboo and our good friend cacti. And we keep on going. And there's more bamboo. Because really, you can never have too much bamboo. And, ooh, last time I came through here I got stuck in the dispenser. There's nothing in the dispenser except for a minecart. And back up we go. I'll show you the internal workings of this shortly. A random screen glitch there. But yeah, as you can see all the, um, the the pistons behind the cactus as we went past. They just shove things out of the way. Cactus will automatically regrow. So it just take, takes the top layer off. So that's a self-regenerating farm as is the melon as John discussed prior and away we go right. Right, here we go do not touch anything because inside here is a labyrinth of redstone it goes deep it goes all the way back and I, I used to think I was quite good with redstone circuits um, John obviously knows a little bit more than I do. Either that, or he has too much time on his hands, and I can't get out of this hole. Right. Ah, yes. <laughs> My cats are at it again. That cat sat there one of the times John was down in the farm, and scared the bejesus out of him when he came up. And it's just done the same to me. We had a snow golem sitting here. It was trapped in this little block and you could shovel up the snow under its feet and it would automatically regenerate as soon as you shoveled it because that's what happens when a snow golem is standing somewhere so you had an infinite supply of snow which was handy for making that big ass farm uh, we also have inside the house uh, the big tower in here uh, yeah. and the storage area if we go up There's the sleeping quarters, with one of Dave's cats, and some hideous choices of rug. 
and beds laid out for everyone and spares. I've got the server set to take eight people. So we set out eight beds. And yeah, John this was the storage area. And yeah, John's reorganized things since we went on to a bigger server. And it's just slidey doors and stuff and things. Close, thank you. And there's another way down into the main living room. If we head back up, and if we continue going up the tower, if we go up here. Uh, it's just a random floor with absolutely nothing of note on it, aside from some views. And here's the top. And the sun's going down. Great. I'm not going to venture out to. Oh, sorry, the sun's going up. Sun's going down. Is what I meant. Night time. Um, over in the distance, John's little brother Jamie has made a tree that goes right to the top, as high as it as you can build, and has then jumped off the top into the water. And it makes for an interesting few seconds on your way down. <laughs> Out. Um, we've had a few sniper battles between the tar, the mob spawner, the farm. I imagine. Well, the water probably makes that difficult. So that farm probably won't pay any. Yeah. Bugger. Buggeration. I appear to be stuck. John, you did not build an emergency exit. How do I get out of here? I like destroying everything. Right, I'm just gonna have to tunnel through. Um. Right, I'll uh. I'll show you a few more things now. Ooh, what are you? Ooh, shit. I don't want to be... I don't want to be screwing with that too much. That's John's redstone. More of John's redstone circuits. He likes his redstone. He is quite good at it. Right. If that doesn't work anymore, John will kill me. We had a random glitch on the server where Dave suddenly became invisible. He had no name tag, we couldn't see his skin, and so he used the opportunity to hunt us down and shoot us every single time. Which got annoying. Uh, and everywhere we looked there was TNT planted. I didn't have a bow there, I had a shovel there. Uh, pig! Outside of the farm! It's annoying. Yeah, this, like John said, whenever we first came into this village, all the buildings were constructed a couple of floors. Ooh, hello. Something's around. Ooh, hello, spider! I may need to light that up. Is that something in there as well? Bugger. Um, so yeah, we had to basically reconstruct a lot of things in here. And uh, we've left this as a tribute. I'm going to need to get up on there. I don't have anything to get up on. Damn. And Ooh. Moonwalking guy. <laughs> Not gonna ask. <laughs> uh this is the temporary holding pen for animals and yeah. It's a little bit mad in there at the minute. I don't know where that moonwalking cow is gone. And mouse is being all screwy. Right. Onwards and somewhere else. I'm sure I saw something in here. Swear to God, if there's a creeper. No. Okay. Yeah, we built a little portal. As you must always do. It's a must in a Minecraft game. And uh, we made the house out of nether brick. And I really, really need to find something to stand on. To put some torches down there. It's just... <sighs> Ugh, another time. After the video, I suppose. Um, right. Now, the other thing that I wanted to show you was the skeleton spawner that we constructed a system around. Much like the mob spawner over there, except this is, instead of being a general purpose one, it's just skeletons, because that's what was sitting in the dungeon. And, as usual, everything is a minecart um, trek away. I'm hoping we left the bloody switch in the right position, so I've got a nice flawless ride through to the dungeon. I may have to get up 
and steal my card again. And ooh, hello, render error. Hmm. You get them nine again. They're fun. I say fun. Scare the crap out whenever you come across them. Thankfully, the minecart knows to keep on going. If you walk into those, you just sort of fall through and glitch, and you don't die, but you can't really do anything. You just get sort of stuck as the game tries to work out what you're doing. And right the corner. Yeah, this part of the video is probably going to be quite boring. I might edit it out, actually. I'm no good at video editing. I probably won't. And right here. I'm sure this didn't used to go on so long. Right, this is the junction, and yay, it was set in the right place. Okay, nearly there, people. Nearly there. I promise. Da da, da da. Through here, round here, and round here. It started off basically as a mine that would. We found the uh, skeleton spawner miles away and then decided we should try and connect the skeleton spawner to the main stronghold that we were living in. And so we came quite a way. And all those corners are because we kept running into bloody lava. And we'd be just be chipping away at the wall and we'd be like, run! Run away! Run away, lava! And so on and so forth. Right. And the last difficult part of the journey, up the damn steps. I'm going to turn these into bloody concrete steps at one point, instead of having to jump up the damn things. I wonder if my mouse is being screwy because of fraps. It's responding really, really slowly. Now we head up here, and there's a skeleton spawner. I've never actually seen it turned off. I don't think we ever turn it off. No point to, really. Like the other one, you have to be within a certain amount of blocks for things to actually start spawning. Um, but you can sort of stand at the side and let them come down, go away for five minutes, do something else. When you come back to Minecraft, ooh, it's full. Um, run selection of music discs and our music block. That's going to be an elevator. It's not completed yet. I said it's going to be an elevator. It's not completed yet. It'll be completed whenever John bothers. Uh, these are all his little projects. Uh, Dave and I mainly come on here just to muck about and make John's life a misery. Cause that's what friends do, isn't it? And this is the uh, this is the main section of the spawner. The the actual spawner sits somewhere in there, I think. I don't actually know the full mechanics of it, but they spawn and they get pushed along by the water until they come down there and they drop and that's where we find them and uh, it's a certain amount of blocks high, yeah, they're glitching through there's a certain amount of blocks high so that whenever you um, whenever they land they take enough damage that they're on half a heart so it's a one hit kill there's a portal there, you can go through there and cut through the nether to get back home or you can just take the minecart again John tried to convince us the nether way was quicker. Um, unfortunately, it was so roundabout. <laughs> it probably took about twice as long. And down the ladder. Ah, sort of off the ladder. Oh, or not. Okay, it doesn't want to let me off the ladder. And the last thing I want to show you is quite neat. Is this room. There's little delays. And nothing can spawn in here. For whatever reason. I can't remember the reasoning John gave for it. It's all full of timer delays, so it all lights up very epically. And there's an enchanting table. And if you don't want high level enchantments, you can press these switches to pull away some of the bookshelves. If you do want high level enchantments, you can stick them all back. And so, yeah, that is um, John, Dave, and I's Minecraft world as it currently stands on a bed. Take care.